Hello everybody, it's Tanner Fishies here, back again with a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be comparing and contrasting Ninjago Legacy and Ninjago Core, and discussing the strengths and weaknesses of each one. The reason why I would like to do this is because Ninjago Legacy and Ninjago Core are very similar in nature. However, despite their similarities, both Legacy and Core have their own strengths and weaknesses that make themselves stand out as being individual. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Ninjago Legacy and discussing five reasons why Legacy is better than Ninjago Core. I have already done a previous video on the channel talking about the complete opposite, discussing a couple of reasons as to why Ninjago Core may be better than Legacy, but in today's video, we are going to be discussing Ninjago Legacy's strengths over Ninjago Core. Ninjago Legacy has been around for a couple of years now, so I understand that it's had more time to sit and develop with the fans as opposed to Ninjago Core, but like I said earlier, both of these Ninjago series are worth comparing and controlling contrasting just because of how similar they are in nature. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. Here are five reasons why Ninjago Legacy is better than Ninjago Core. The big thing right away that we need to talk about for Legacy is nostalgia. Ninjago Legacy does a fantastic job at bringing that nostalgic attitude and personality back into the Ninjago series. Legacy as a concept is meant to go back and remake, or at least revamp, older Ninjago sets for the modern era. In several cases, Ninjago Legacy improves vastly upon the original, while in other cases, it does not. It's pretty much a mixed bag, but Ninjago Legacy remaking older sets is a fantastic idea for multiple reasons, and one of the biggest reasons is nostalgia. Older Ninjago fans that have been with the series for a long time are being rewarded with new sets and products that bring that nostalgic feeling back to them from all of those many years ago. This is especially true because Ninjago Legacy tackles a lot of sets from Ninjago's first couple of years, hence rewarding older Ninjago fans for being fans for a very long time. As an older member of the Ninjago community myself, I can respect Legacy's decision to remake older sets, and I find myself collecting a lot of them because, in my opinion, a lot of them are really cool and bring back that nostalgia factor that is so powerful in today's modern era. Ninjago Core does its best to try to remake or recapture older Ninjago fans' attention, but I feel like Legacy does a better job at directly grabbing it and hooking Ninjago fans in for a blast from the past, filled with lots of nostalgia and and lots of warm feelings. The second reason why Ninjago Legacy is better than Ninjago Core is because of the opportunities that it provides for Ninjago fans. As mentioned, Ninjago Legacy remakes a lot of older sets that Ninjago has already produced over the years. Several older Ninjago fans around today did not have the luxury back in the day to purchase every single Ninjago set that they wanted. I find that giving Ninjago fans a second chance to purchase a set that they've always wanted is a good idea. Many older Ninjago fans nowadays have their own jobs and careers even that will allow them to purchase these older sets that they probably never had a chance to buy back in the day. As a young kid, I was very restricted in what I could potentially buy. Thankfully, Ninjago Legacy has remade a lot of those for the modern day and the modern market. When I myself am an adult and have my own career, that will allow me to purchase some of these older sets, granted redesigned and updated of course, but still that same exact feeling is provided. I just really enjoy having that opportunity for Ninjago Legacy. I've been able to collect a lot of sets that I wish I had gotten back in the day. I'm thankful that Ninjago Legacy has provided these opportunities for me personally, and I feel like several other Ninjago fans enjoy a similar feeling. Ninjago Core, on the other hand, doesn't even come close to this, simply because it's too new and provides us with various things that make up Ninjago's core concepts, rather than tackling specific sets. The third reason why Ninjago Legacy is better than Ninjago Core is because of its fantastic improvements over older sets and concepts. As mentioned, Ninjago Core is primarily focused on providing Ninjago fans with essentials that make up Ninjago's identity, such as temples, cars, mechs, etc. Ninjago Legacy, on the other hand, does a fantastic job at providing specifics to Ninjago fans, which I feel is more desirable in a lot of cases. If the original Earth Driller set never really appealed to you, well, Ninjago Legacy has you covered again. And in a lot of cases, these Legacy builds are bigger and better than their original models, hence revising them in a very positive way. Same goes for the minifigures. Ninjago Legacy has remade several ninja and several villain figures that have their own modern spin to them while also keeping that classic identity. You know who each of these characters 
are. You recognize which Ninjago sets Legacy is trying to remake, but they make them so good, they make them infinitely better, which Ninjago Core, again, doesn't really have that opportunity to do. And while Legacy has not remade every single set that I would like to see in the modern day, there is still a decent amount that they've remade that I am very thankful for. The fourth reason why Ninjago Legacy is better than Ninjago Core is because of their ability to not only remake older sets, but make new and original sets based on old ideas. I am specifically referring to sets such as the Overlord Dragon, which did not have an original set back in the day, but is still part of the Legacy line, because it was an original idea that fans have been asking for for a very long time. Same goes for the Ninjago City Gardens, the biggest Ninjago set of all time. While technically being a Ninjago 10th anniversary set, it is under the Ninjago Legacy brand. Ninjago Legacy has proven that not only is it resourceful and respectful to older Ninjago sets, they are also not restricted by those older sets and models. They can make original ideas that have never been made before and give fans what they've always wanted. Do you guys know how many years Ninjago fans have been asking for an Overlord Dragon set? I remember wishing we had an Overlord Dragon all the way back during the days of the final battle. Ninjago Legacy is very non-restrictive and it gives fans what they desire, which is a good thing. They do fan service and they do it right. Ninjago Core, again, lacks that specific nature. And of course, the fifth reason why Ninjago Legacy is better than Ninjago Core is because of the Ninjago Legacy shorts. The original batch of shorts for Legacy provided us with a lot of missing context from the earlier Ninjago seasons. Several of the shorts bridged the gaps in between seasons, and several shorts just simply added more context to make the timeline make more sense. Ninjago Core's shorts don't seem to be following in that direction. Again, as of the time of recording this video, the Core shorts are not out just yet, but still, those appear to be more educational in nature, as opposed to more or constructive to the Ninjago TV show timeline. If you're a Ninjago fan, there's a very high chance that you care about the show, and the Ninjago Legacy shorts did a fantastic job at bridging the gaps in between seasons, providing us with more context, and overall just giving us a better perception of the Ninjago TV timeline. Even the Ninjago Reimagined shorts that came out for Ninjago's 10th anniversary were technically classed under the Ninjago Legacy line, and a lot of those shorts provided context as well, especially Golden Hour. While the core shorts are not out just yet, I find that the Ninjago Legacy shorts are some of the best Ninjago short films that we've seen so far. And overall, guys, I find Ninjago Legacy to be an amazing concept for the Ninjago series. Between the sets, the minifigures, the shorts, all of Legacy is just super cool to me. I find that the series itself has a very welcome place in the Ninjago franchise. And I hope it continues into the future, but Ninjago Core seems like it could easily take over as the new Ninjago Legacy type series, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Overall though, this was 5 reasons why Ninjago Legacy is better than Ninjago Core. Again, check out the first video that I made in the series if you want to hear reasons why Core might be better than Legacy, but let me know down below in the comments what you think about Ninjago Legacy, and which do you prefer at the end of the day. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments, you guys, and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.